from McLeod. Goes wide of the goal and into the far corner. Thompson trying to get to it at center. Edmonton will dump it right back in. Owen Byram getting his first touch. And a new shift here as a saver on home ice. Oilers spin that puck around the far post and score. Lukanen did not have the post covered. Ryan McLeod picks up his 11th of the year and it's a 1-0 Edmonton lead. Early in this game, and this is going to be the second one. This is where they're going to connect. Look at the backhand pass right there in the middle of the ice. To Ryan McLeod down low. That is dry side. He'll find him in that quick shot. It looks like he gets over the top of the pad maybe. And then off his pants and into the net, not getting that glove tight there. And that's what it comes across. Now, this is the first time Dan been on ice level pl playing Edmonton because every time he's been national or there, where you're there, you can't be down between the benches. You got to be up top. So first hand look. Good play off the end wall. Skinner with a save there as the Sabres work it deep into the corner. And here's Jost. Nugent Hopkins, last man of the three on the rush. Pass deflected away from him. Hyman at the line. McDavid in front. Nugent Hopkins. Penalty coming up. And the shot goes wide. Delayed call as it's now touched by Buffalo. 80 attempts. Let's take a look. And Owen Power is going to get the slash call or Buck slash, whatever. Anyways, go pass all the way. Coming back towards Peyton Krebs, who spun to the corner. Paterka plays it far circle. Byron walks in. Oh, Skinner with a glove save as Byron will pick it up. Still looking for his first power play goal of the season, number 25. He does have four assists as it's brought to center now by Paterka. Using his speed to gain the Edmonton line, but Fogel with the stick check. Potential 2 on 0. Fogel dishes back to Fogel. A shorthanded two on a rush from Edmonton that puts the Oilers up two to nothing. That's the seventh shorthanded goal of the year for the Edmonton Oilers. Just watch here. Here's the turnover right here. The line as Skinner loses his puck and not able to get it back. And then the battle here coming up the middle of the ice. And it's McLeod. He gets body position here on power. And then he just leads it right to Fogo, who's able to skate right in, give it back and forth there. It ends up being in the back of the net. Right there, and that's going to be Fogo's 14th of the year. Cousins, Dahlin, back to Cousins, one-timer, and Skinner. I don't know if he saw that one, but he made the stop, and it comes back to the line for Byram. He's got a lane for the shot, rebound, Alex Tuck in front, another whack, and it's going a 2-1 Edmonton lead now with four and a quarter to go in the first. They did a nice job of moving the puck here. Bo Byram does a nice job pulling guys to him over on the far side. You see him taking that lane and the quick shot. You got net fronts established here with Alex Tuck. And here as it works it off and down the middle. Here comes the shot right there. And Alex Tuck actually spins around and pushes this puck out and by his feet. And then the battle by Thompson from his knee comes to meet the play again drops at the line this could be good for buffalo but dylan cousins end of a shift gets it outside the line mcdavid seeing the change one on three with a shot off the post and a rebound just cleared away by krebs with position alone watch by kulak down to the far corner still with it spins it to rusek drop back to bryson he'll play it back to the point that's off the bar connor clifton and we have 15.39 to go here in the second period. It's 2-1 Edmonton. Puck taken back by Corey Perry. He'll take the drop pass. Perry drags it. What a move to the net. And Lucan got over the far post to keep it out. And he'll feed it up ahead looking for Connor Brown. Sabres get it back. Quick entry. Quick shot. And the bells are ringing. Instead of the horn after Thompson let that one rip. Thompson comes close. Look at this. He steps over the line. Top of the circle. What a shot. Far side. Totally beat Storp. Off the post. And able to find Tage Thompson. He's got a good step into the Edmonton zone. Following up his Garrigan sides. He got a backhand low on Stuart Skinner at the near post. He was able to make the stop. Now Perry. Trying to help here with a turnover for Evander Kane with a shot. Oh, what a save by Lukanen. 
Edmonton will change. Buffalo doing the same. 40 seconds into this third period as Power looks up the middle of the ice. Pass on the left wing side and cut to the middle. Followed up by Victor Olison. Great pass! And the chance down to the post. Did I, did I keep yeah, up, kept up with him? Sure. You played like against but a lot of I those did, guys. Didn't get a piece of Marcel beyond, but Gretzky and Lemieux is able yeah. to be on the ice. Here's here. a shot by Alex Tuck, and that one stayed out. Sabres battle it into the Edmonton zone, comes back, oh, oh. turned over, Yoki Haru stripped by Connor McDavid! Near post, saved by Lucan, and he's got it on the side of the net! Puck comes free, Tuck gets it up and out. Sabres trying to manage the puck with 97 on the ice, Dylan Cousins trying to go through the middle, McDavid takes it away, then gives it away, leaving it to the blue line. There's a back, it scores! Jacob Bryson! First of the year ties this game at two. And Dylan Cousins here. He's the guy that's come bringing this puck into the zone. Following up is Bryson, and he's just going to take it down the side. And it was just a nice, easy little backhand pass to the net. I don't think he's expecting to put this puck in the net. He's expecting to lay it out there and maybe allow Cousins or Robinson or Benson to get a stick on it for the redirection. Up top, Darlene Slapper, and that deflects just wide. Comes back up the near side. Tuck in front, Thompson one-on-one. -on -one. Gergensen's with a chance. Thompson fishing for it. Zemgis with the last chance. He's cross-checked to the ice, and we get a whistle. Start of the overtime. Taves drawing them outside the zone. Now Dylan Cousins. He's had it going here today. Cousins down to the corner. In front, power! Skinner got a piece of that one, deflects it out of play. Boy, talk about get your head back into it. Bouchard down the middle, plays it to the wing. That's tipped out. Now Dylan Cousins has 10 seconds down the right side. Cousins trying to pass it across, not once but twice, and it's blocked. Edmonton trying to play it to Long. In front, Cousins! Oh, saved by Skinner! Could you imagine? Against Nugent Hopkins and now Hyman with 13 seconds. Here's a chance in front. Deacon, no shot. It's Alex Tuck. Got the puck. Now Power. Off the bench. Colleen. Power scores! With two seconds to go. And here we go to the shootout. Shooter number one takes Thompson. Takes the puck at center to the far circle. Thompson. Deep scores! We've done this once already. Here he is. He just comes in. He just takes the puck at center. Way over to the right boards. Lukanen standing. Now into the crouch. Lukanen with the save! Yeah. Uh, perhaps the best player in the world right now. The best part about Lukanen is just how calm he is. Look at him. He's just staring at the puck. He knows exactly. He just keeps... And you just keep taking him to that side. And the farther he goes to the side, the better opportunity you got. All right. Sabres on the power play because it's Owen Powers, the second shooter. Right circle slowly. And Skinner just closed that five hole in time to make the save. Gets the green. To the glove side. All right. Leon dry side will let center ice. Again to the right side. Not so wide. And he puts that one in with the same Tage Thompson esque release. Yeah, very business like this going in, just keeps it simple, right over the pad. RNH against UPL in the shootout. Lukanen in the crouch. Nugent Hopkins. Lukanen with the save, and the Sabres win it again. This time for good.